Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speed Star reporting for the next and possibly either quarterfinal or semi-final episode of the main story of Metroid Other M. In the last episode, we went through the sectors and uh, got some items. And in this episode, we're going to try and get as many items as we can in Sector 1, and then continue on to the Bioweapon Research Center. Now, some of these uh, items in Sector 1 are pretty hard to get to. This one, for example, you need the Super Missiles, Grapple Beam, and Speed Booster. can tell we need a super missile there. We have to do this all while sliding down because we aren't able to stand still on that slope. Which of course will be a problem. Now my voice may sound a little quiet in this episode but that's because it's uh, pretty late at night mom and her uh, boyfriend uh, are probably asleep by now. Yeah, I said boyfriend. My mom and father uh, divorced a long time ago. I went to live out with him for the rest of my high school years. Um, I shouldn't say the rest. I meant for uh, all my high school years grade 8 to 12. I'll be honest, uh, I kinda, I kinda am glad I went out there to finish high school. Because where I lived, the schooling system was, I don't know, pretty good. Yeah, I'm just checking in here. I don't know, I think there was an item. No, I don't... Probably not. But, I do remember there is an item here that we need Speed Booster and Shine Spark for. And we also needed the Super Missile so we could actually use Speed Boost. I really hate it when the game does that now loading thing near a door or someplace. Really. So yeah, the next item's a little ways away, so I'm gonna just cut ahead. Yeah. I'm sure you remember this part, uh, in an earlier episode. I think my buddy Swerfstar X knows this part. Because this is where I, uh, wished him a happy birthday then. Yeah, now in here, past the door to the Bioweapon Research Center, uh, this is the first area where we had to go underwater. Now with the gravity feature, going through here isn't going to be much of a problem. Yeah, you get the picture. Just 
a few items here I can get. Now this one is... can be difficult to get if you aren't able to do it properly. You need to use the space jump and you have to do it in a precise way uh, like I just did. I've never really done it on the first try before. But yeah, you have a time limit. If you aren't able to do it in time, uh, those will go back down and you gotta do it over. But yeah, with that energy part, we now have eight energy tanks. So yeah, I'm just gonna check on my... Uh, check my status quick on the items I have. And apparently that thing about the other energy tank, I lied. Or, well, I was a little confused on. See, there are only four energy parts. There are no energy tanks left. And there's one Excel charge left. Now, this room I was in, this was the one where I had a lot of problems with brain skips. It was also when I decided to take a bit of a break from my Let's Play and uh, take care of other stuff. But yeah, I believe there is... Just a few more items I can get that I'm currently able to with the... Uh, power-ups and stuff that I have. Now, I think I remember for mentioning this in one of the earlier episodes. Self-explanatory or... Ah, eh, whatever, I'll just say it. You needed the wave beam to get this one. there's one more I'm able to get because I remember that area an area that we can't get to anymore because it was blown up the room just before it there was one of those uh, spots where you needed a power bomb now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a bit of a spoiler here, so if you don't want to, uh, get spoiled, I suggest turning your volume off. Where you have to lay those power bombs, each one of them is actually the spot where a dangerous enemy lies. And I mean dangerous. They can do a lot of damage. They are hard to hit. Well, um, they're really hard to defeat. The only way you can defeat them is with a lethal strike or a power bomb. Because once you stun them, if you don't finish them off, then, well, they'll recover and you have to do it all over. And this missile tank here, I kind of forgot about. Oh well, I got it. That's all that matters. Alright, I believe that's all the items I can get in Sector 1. Except for down here, I uh, went ahead and accessed the terminal to uh, withdraw the bridge. As you can see, there's one more missile tank that we're going to be able to get here. vent that goes there. Ugh, sometimes I hate this TV. I've got it on like full brightness, full picture, 
and still too dark. I know it's not my eyes. Oh, there it is. I know it's not my eyes, because I've got really good vision. Even when I was wearing those, uh, blue color contacts I bought before I moved. I only really, uh, bought them because I wanted to cosplay as Link for Halloween, and on the day that Skyward Sword is released. Do you think that's weird? Cosplaying is like just to go get a game that I've pre-ordered. Uh... Well, I don't really call it weird. I just call it showing that I really want the game, and I'll do anything. Well, anything legal, of course. Well, we're back in the Bioweapon Research Center, so I'm just gonna save here, and then we'll continue on. Alright, time to continue. Now you see, we've got more of these, uh, those, uh, drones that create those barriers. With the plasma beam, we can beat them easily now. And we can actually destroy them. But... James. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not sure if this is, uh, proven. What? probably is, but I believe that James was in fact the deleter that Samus came up with. How he was killed, we don't really know. Yes, we couldn't get here before because, uh, after that cutscene with learning about the Metroids, we weren't able to come back here because, of uh, that cutscene. Brutal what happened to Ridley. I mean, yeah, yeah sure, Samus weakened him. But yeah. Something must have uh, killed it. So, yeah, Ridley's out of the picture. And activating that 
activated this defense mechanism. Now, in order to continue on through these doors, we need to use the Seeker Missile. As you see, there's only three targets. Not anymore, but it still uses up five missiles. It will, no matter what. Which I kind of find odd. So yeah, there's the last navigation booth before... Well... We get into the final battle. So yes, um, next time on Let's Play Metroid Other M. After we save, we're going to continue through the door to Room MW and hopefully find that survivor. This is Matt the Speedstar, signing off. Hold on. One thing I forgot. In the same room where we found James, there was a way up here that we could get into. last missile tank will be getting in the main story. And what do you know, Super Sabesians. And there are a lot of them. Are they a school attack? These guys are a joke. That's it. Now I'm really signing off. So yeah, you know the words, yada yada yada. Let's hope we do well in the final battle.